So I am assuming as a parent of a child with a disability, when I look across the table, and this is a special educator, I assume that she's trained by the district in special education law. So I'm assuming that the principal provides her with blank uh, IEP data collection sheets and accommodation sheets. Uh, Kurt, as a principal, uh, when do you train your people on special education law? So Karen, you cracked me up. Training. We're going to train special educators. We're going to give them meaningful PD, regular learning opportunities, wrong in every capacity. So let me tell you what it looks like. At the very beginning of the year, we take, you know, I was always at schools of around a thousand or greater. So we have at least 150, 200 IEPs in the school. And what we do is at the beginning of the year, we fire hose the teachers with all of these IEPs. And we say, okay, gang, uh, general educators in particular who've never had anything in special ed and don't understand special ed, have never taught, you need to know every accommodation, every modification. And um, tomorrow at 8.30, need you to be ready and uh, document everything, if you will, too. That's the training we give. And it is not fair to anyone and that's what has to change the state of texas the state of minnesota the state of michigan build in some training and and for the love of god texas pretend it's football pretend it is football and i promise you we will have the greatest special education system and training approach we'll do two a days in the summer we will have those teachers running and tackling and doing push-ups and iep sprints i mean or Better yet, pretend it's JV football at the middle school and just give us that effort. No, 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 no. Pretend it's Pop Warner six-year-olds and, and let's give them that effort and that funding that we put into that. We will still have 10 times better special education than we currently have. Whole nother subject, but very important.